Lee, certainly a, a day to forget today for Gainsborough. Um, yes and no, Dale. Um, just had a conversation with the players after the game that uh, there's 13 games to go to the end of the season. Uh, of course, the possibility is there to get into the playoffs, isn't it? And, you know, is to use this as, a, as a, an extremely harsh lesson yeah, that has to be taken on board yeah, and uh, you know, implemented into uh, getting us back to winning way. So, yeah, I mean, there's not much to defend today, is there, to tell the honest. What, what, how do you assess the team's performance? Um, I would say the first 10-15 um, minutes, both teams kind of caging each other out, weren't they? I thought we maybe shaved it a little bit. But then two goals in what, three minutes, and uh, you know, you obviously mentally uh, shut off. You know, for for them to get in and score those two goals, and it can change the complexity of the game altogether. It could have all been different if you. There's a great chance, wasn't there? After eight minutes, to set the lead of the game. It could have been a totally different afternoon. Well, exactly. Yeah, you know, they've been very clinical with their finishing. I, I, I do honestly think it, we've helped them with our defending. Our defending has been poor today. Um, I'd have to have a look at look at the goals. Uh, but yeah, you know, when when Chances come along against the team, you know, that are very well organised, they work very hard, Warrington, you know, take nothing away from their performance at all. Uh, you know, and they haven't given up many goals this season, have they? You know, you, you, you know you, you've got to take those opportunities when they do come. We talked about the defence before the game. Mm. Does the manner of the goals come as a bit of a surprise to you? Yes, it does, but, uh, you know, these. Uh, yeah, yeah, it does, yeah. But um, if, if you're looking at, uh, I'd say that. Definitely three of the goals today. The, the goal last week, it's, it's down to concentration, isn't it? Uh, you know, shutting off ball watching and, uh, you know, getting caught. And, and that's exactly what happened. And you can't give away goals like that and, it, uh, you know, and expect to uh, uh, probably get something out of the game. Although it was disappointing that, you know, we changed the formation at half time. And you don't give that formation a chance because within a couple of minutes, you know, you, you, uh, you can see the third goal. So. Uh, you know, bad day at the office. Because that was the mo probably the most disappointing fact. The game was effectively killed off, wasn't it, with, with 40 minutes to go? Correct, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, uh, you know, we didn't deal with the, uh, the cross well, did we? And, uh, you know, obviously conceded the third, so. Uh, yeah, we, uh, we didn't give ourselves a chance, I thought, today. Um, I thought we started reasonably well, just like they did, but after that, I don't think we gave ourselves a chance. What's your thoughts on the red card? Um, I'll be honest with you, I'm not doing an awesome thing, I, I didn't see it, I turned around and put something on the bench and I asked John and uh, I said did he have his arm around his neck and pulled him around a little bit, but uh, I'd have to have a look on the video. Has, has Ben said anything about it? No, no, no. I'll, uh, I'll have a look at it on the video and I'll deal with it from there. There's the one one positive set from Dave, Damien Reeves getting on the score, should, yeah. should boost his confidence. Yeah, pleasing, yeah. Um, um, nice finish, wasn't it? So. Uh, so that, that'll be good for his confidence, yeah. So as, as a team, as a squad, <clears> how, how do you bounce back from this? Well, you have to. That'll be funny. You, and there's a, you know, you, when you walk over the white line against uh, Buxton next Saturday, you, you, you're determined to put right what... Uh, I wouldn't even say what we put on for the, uh, the games with Trinity uh, supporters, you know, because obviously you don't want to see that. But, uh, you know, that, that's not up to, uh, you know, the standard of anywhere near where we are. And... Uh, you know, they, they, they should be busting a gut in training, busting a gut next Saturday, you know, to uh, start to erase, you know, that uh, disappointing performance. And how, I suppose, frustrating was it that the, you couldn't really have a plan B because of the, the lack of uh, experience on the bench? Um, well, I wouldn't put it down to lack of experience and stuff. I mean, you, you say about a plan B, but we change formation, so, I mean, it depends on what we're talking about plans, isn't it? I mean, we were playing a 4-3-3 in the first half, we changed to a 4-4-2 in the second half, so... Yeah, you know, that, that I was there to ask questions, but like I said, within within a few minutes of the second half, you can see the th can see the third goal, and it's you know it's it's very difficult from there on. And next week, then there'll be a real determination to put just put everything right from the last couple of games. Well, there better be, yeah. You know, the the the, the prize should be hurting. It's it's most certainly hurting from from my point of view. You know, to uh, you know to 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 stand there and uh, and and you know watch that ineffective uh, display hurts me uh, a lot, but. You know, if you uh, if you use that as a motivational tool, and that's what I was more or less saying to the players after the game uh, when we had a chat, if you use it as a motivational tool for the rest of the season, you know it can work in your favour. Okay, thank you. Cheers. Though.